Hi, it's Biggie. Welcome to Biggie's Auto. So as you can see, I've been working on the turd. We got a lot of issues we had to straighten out. But I figured guys can take a look here. So let me uh, let me talk with you guys a little bit what we had going on because we had a lot of issues. Um, the first issue obviously was we had an issue with the serpentine belt lighting up. So as now with a whole lot of work, we got that running straight. Um, we have uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, we had an issue with the oil line broke. So I don't know if you can see back there, there's a copper line, all right? So we did, we replaced the whole deal with that up to the gauge in here. So we do have a nice reading with the gauge. Can't see it now, unfortunately, because the car is off. But we fixed that. The line lock button's different um, because we had an issue with the button that was there wasn't... Um, couldn't wasn't rated high enough so uh, we did that we still have an issue with the starter with the shimming of it um, I'm gonna try taking all the shims out to see if that cures it we still have a water leak somewhere but it's not that bad I'm not sure what's causing that so I'm gonna look into that but um, we uh, like I said uh, last week when I did the torque converter video um, that's when we had the motor. We were trying to get the motor in. Now I spent a week trying to always get the gremlins worked out. So um, that's what I have going on. Um, like I said, the coil thing, if you're putting, and I didn't know this. Someone taught me this. So uh, this this will be the tech tip today will be if you're going to do copper line on a mechanical gauge, make a coil. Uh, the guy told me um, that... Um, it helps with vibrations so the line doesn't break and just helps it last longer. So anyway, watch out for each other. Take care of each other. We'll see you next time right here on Big E's.